Okay, the first th or what we want to do today is we'll introduce a random effects ANOVA. So the random effects ANOVA is going to be one of the sim simplest examples of an HLM model. Now remember in any HLM model, we're going to assume that we have nested data, which means we're going to have two levels. Now for this example, I'll use schools as being my level two variable and students. So what I'm saying is that I now have students that are nested within school. Now in that case, our random effects ANOVA does not include any covariates, and so we're only going to have a dependent variable. The dependent variable that we can talk about, just as an example, could be something like math achievement. And I'll use y sub ij to talk about our dependent variable. Now in this case, i indicates the particular student, so my level one variable, where j indicates my school, my level two variable. Now to model math achievement, we're going to use a beta zero j, where beta zero j is now describing the average math achievement for the jth school. But we also want to allow for the possibility that any given student does not have math achievement that's equal to that average. So we use r sub ij, indicating the extent to which the ith student is different from the jth school average. Now with HLM though, we also have um, equations at level two. So we'll use beta zero j now for, to indicate the average math achievement for the jth school, and we will model that as a function of a gamma zero zero. So remember, again, we have no covariates at the school level. Gamma zero zero is going to describe the average of the school averages. So oftentimes we'll refer to this as the grand mean. In addition, we want to allow for the possibility that schools their average math achievement is not going to be the same as the grand mean, meaning we will add in a u sub zero j, describing the extent to which the jth school has an average different from the grand mean. And so notice what our random effects ANOVA does is it provides two sources of variability. We have r sub i j, which describes the variability of students within school. And so we'll use a sigma squared to describe the extent to which students vary within a given school but we will also have u sub zero j to where it is assumed to be normally distributed with mean zero and it will have a variance tau zero zero. And so you see our random effects ANOVA is going to be one of our simplest cases of an HLM analysis to where we split up the variability between variability within school and variability between school. Thanks.